What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So you guys might have saw the last video. We recently sold my Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art Sport back. So that car has officially made it over to Tennessee. So if any of you guys subscribers are in Tennessee, you might see that car around. Um, like I said, the Sportback variant is pretty rare and the new buyer is actually located there. That's why it got transported all the way there across states. Um, but with that being said, the Rally Yard used to be my daily driver. So the real question is, what am I driving now as my daily driver? Let's head to the garage and show you guys. So we are in the garage and here is my new daily driver. So some of you guys might have guessed it. Yes, it is the S2000. And this car is my daily driver because I don't really have too many options. So, you know, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you would know that recently, in the past few months, we sold two cars. Uh, we have four cars in the fleet. We sold two of them. Uh, back in May, we sold the Honda Civic Si Coupe. That car is in Georgia right now. Um, and then the Rally Art, most recently we sold that, that car's in Tennessee, so buyers from all out of state. Um, and the plan is we'll be getting another car, one car, that will be replacing those two cars as a daily driver. But for right now, you know, I really only have my S2000 or my Mitsubishi Lancer show car as the daily driver options to drive to work. So since I have the S2000 at home, you know, this is my option. The show car Lancer is actually at my family house, so yeah, can't really drive that thing. It's super low anyway. So let's go ahead and fire up the S2000 and head to work. gonna let my s2000 warm up for a little bit so the s2000 has been primarily my weekend car you know the car that i drive on a nice sunday or saturday morning uh, occasionally i take her out on dates with the wife but like i said i don't really have much of an option um there are a few things that i don't really like driving the s2000 daily uh, i know there are guys who definitely daily drive this car i personally don't um well for one it is a manual transmission and with the manual transmission um you know i take i-35 which is a major highway here um you know you got a lot of cars traffic's really bad heading to work so it's always stop and go stop and go you're constantly going from you know neutral to first gear and it's just yeah not the most fun drive um another thing is the car is I'll say pretty low, you know, not as low as my Mitsubishi Lancer show car, but recently we put on the new Voltex Racing Front bumper, and that is a rare and expensive bumper, um, you know. So, you know, hopefully, knock on wood, nothing happens, you know, no rock chips or anything like that. Uh, going on I 35, you do drive by a lot of 18 wheelers, so yeah, just gonna drive carefully. And there we have it, rush hour traffic, so. This is merging onto the highway. I'm not even on the highway yet, but you know, this is pretty much everyday traffic. Uh, just bumper to bumper traffic sitting alongside 18 wheelers. So yeah, definitely not a fun drive. You know, distance wise is not too far. Uh, I believe I'm about 15 miles from work, but you know, I have to pass by downtown on an interstate highway. So it's pretty rough. have it we meet traffic again this is passing through downtown Austin Texas 
So pretty nice view of the skyscrapers downtown, but you know, a lot of traffic. Alright, just got to work and it's a Friday so actually not many cars are here in the garage. You already know, I gotta park all the way here at the corner because noting squat. So yeah, just gonna get my work day started and then we'll just drive home. Love driving this car, such a fun car to drive. A few moments later. Alright, just got done with my work day so we are back here by the S2000. Let's go ahead and fire her up. Give her a nice little cold start and drive her back home. I wanted to drive with the S2000 top down and I feel like it's a convertible. You need to drive it with the top down but oh, here in Texas it's just so hot during summertime. So maybe not. Turn the steering wheel on, turn on the AC. And I drove the S2000 yesterday to work. Last few days I've been doing that. Uh, if I'm not wrong, the temperature that I saw, it went up as high as 108 or 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Super hot here, like I said, during the summertime in Texas. Um, one of the downsides of driving it as well, you know, obviously the car gets a little dusty. You can see a fine layer of dust. You know, the cons of daily driving this car. Um, but let's go ahead and head back home. We're gonna let the car warm up for a couple minutes and then drive it back home. It's such a nice car to drive, but uh, yeah. I don't really recommend driving it just because it's pretty tight in the cockpit over here. Obviously not much trunk space. Um, in a separate video, we'll talk about possibly looking into getting a new car, a new daily driver to replace the Mitsubishi Lancer Rally or Sportback. And we just got off work, haven't had a chance to actually do a little walk around off the S2000. So yeah, if you guys don't know, we did have the new Voltex Racing front bumper put on maybe about a month back. I uh, haven't really driven it since the new bumper's on, just because I'm worried of scraping the bumper, but great bumper. This is the authentic Voltex Racing front bumper we got from Invasive Motorsports. Uh, we also got the fenders fixed. So the fenders, the hood, the front bumper, all fresh paint. It looks really nice and mint. And what do you guys think? Are you guys still a fan of the Spoon Sports SW388 wheels or not? Um, recently, I've had plans to possibly change the wheel setup. I'll be keeping the Spoon Sports wheels, but I do also have a set of Bronze T37 SLs. Um, recently, King Motor Sports also re-released the Mugen MF10s in bronze, and I absolutely love those wheels. So we'll see. Maybe in the near future, we'll be able to, you know, buy a new set of wheels. But for now, Spoon wheels, pretty good option. Alright, gonna do a little pull here. skyscrapers in the distance and uh, yeah I've been in Austin Texas for 10 years now city has definitely grown a lot since you know I first moved here back in 2013 just driving this car shifting up shifting and down shifting just so satisfying to hear this car just sounds so great uh, unfortunately I don't really have too much room to really rev it out because of traffic but you know, it's a great car to drive, great car to 
stretch his legs if you have the room. Just made it back home and the S1000 is back in the garage. So yeah, it's hot to drive at the top down during summertime, especially here in Texas. But uh, whenever the weather's nice or if it's early enough in the morning, I like to drive at the top down. I believe convertible, it's meant to be driven with the top down. But yeah, I think the car looks so much nicer and cleaner with the top down as well. Um, I saw the temperature earlier. It shows 106 degree Fahrenheit. So super hot day today uh, Here in summertime, but what do you guys think? Do you think the S1000 makes a fun nice daily driver? Would you daily drive it? All right, so just leave in the comment section below again Do you think the S1000 makes a daily driver or not? Would you daily drive it? But personally, it's a great car. I love to drive it, but I just prefer to keep it as a weekend car just because of the roads as well as the number of cars on I-35 that I take every day to work. So again, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.